So what would Darwin have said about the necks of the giraffes? Colin, I think yeah. it's important. Now we're coming to the comparison between Lamarck and Darwin. Okay, if we can go back to Lamarck. You see, Lamarck's interpretation of the giraffes were that those were the shorter necks. They can't reach the higher branches and the leaves, which means that they will die out. But what Lamarck said was that his, this neck, he will stretch and stretch, and at the end of the day, his neck will look like this giraffe so he can reach, and this, the small or the young that will be produced, will also have a long neck. Darwin says no. Within a population, we have variety. There you have variation. You have shorter necks, those with a bit longer, and longer necks, which means that those with the longer necks, they can reach the higher branches, they can feed, survive, and produce young or offspring, and this trait, this characteristic, this gene will be passed on to the young. Whereas this, this one with a shorter neck won't be able to feed as successfully as the others, and eventually the ones with the shorter necks will die out. Very important that you can distinguish between the theories and the interpretation of an example. And remember, in the exam, you might not necessarily get the example of the giraffes. If you go into the textbooks, it's strange that all the textbooks refer to the giraffe because this is what Lamarck has used. But you, as a grade 12 learner, you must be able to use another example or any other example, but apply the theory. That is very important. Mm. So, with other words, it's up to some go in Afrikaans, because we've done it in English yes. now, so we're quickly going to say it in Afrikaans, because this is very important, that Lamarck, Lamarck had said that the camelpaarde will longer neck, so they try to get longer neck to get um, and then get the neck longer, and the nageslag will also longer neck. Darwin said no. I'll say it now very simply. Hmm. Darwin said no. That is camelpaarde. Per tijd longer neck, per tijd korter neck. Die moet die langer nekke gaan lekkerder en beter eet. Daarom is hulle gezonder, hulle oorleef beter, hulle sal die kleintjies hee. En omdat dit een genetische kenmerk was, weet ons vandag, sal hier die kenmerk oorgedra word. So natural selection people is exactly what it says. It's a selection of beneficial traits. En ons sal nog praat wanneer ons verder in evolutie gaan, oor precies hoe dit gebeur. Goed, die so is net uh, antwoord. Yeah, I think they have it in the handout, so we can just go on the Afrikaans and as the English as well. Yeah. So we can just, just skip this because if they should be asked to explain Darwin, Darwin's uh, response to that, then they have it there. That is then um, an ideal answer that they can give. So that is also what we have said, so we can just skip this. You can but go through it again, yeah. and that's very important mm. because it's, we are not referring now. It's only the interpretation of Lamarck and Darwin that we've put um, aside one another for you to see. But I think the next one yes. is very, very important. This, and this you is, should yeah, know this out they of know. your yes. it, your cup it. And remember also... This is last, um, about nine days ago, we did the process skills, and here's one of those very, f uh, I mean, they can ask you any time to draw a table, to tabulate. When you see the word tabulate, tabulier, or trek a tabel, you do just that. Whether you know the content, you draw a table. At least you know you will get one mark already. And as I've said last, uh, uh, about a week ago, you must have, your heading. So let's look at how Lamarck and Darwin's ideas differed from one another. So um, Lamarck referred to variation is brought about by one individual, as Lorraine has mm. pointed out to you, that wanted to change. Darwin says no, it's not an individual that, that wants to change. It is a population that there's variation and that that um, populations change. Individuals that want to change, Darwin says no, there's no internal drive, and then individuals, they change because of adaptation to the environment alone, and Darwin says no, 
they change by means of natural selection those desired or favorable characteristics which are best suited for the environment those ones survive those that can't adapt they don't and then um, as we said before Lamarck said individuals in the population change you see it's that one one giraffe that wanted to stretch his neck to reach the top leaves and he couldn't but oh, later on the neck stretched Darwin says no individuals it's not individuals that change, but it's the population as a whole because it's the genes that's being passed on. And then the changes that are brought about by adaptation and um, to the environment alone, and he says, no, it's passed on. The desired characteristics are passed on from generation to generation to enable populations to survive in the environment. Yeah, I think the emphasis with Lamarck is on individuals changing and remember, as we've said, because they feel the need and they acquire characteristics. To acquire is to get characteristics in their lifetime and they can pass it on. And we know it's wrong. Darwin said, no, populations have variation. Some of these variations equip individuals better. Those individuals survive. And these new characteristics will survive in populations. So this whole issue of survival of the fittest that Darwin proposed, what does it really mean? And as we said before, the word fittest and the fittest individual it does not necessarily mean that it is the strongest or the fastest or the biggest. But it is a genotype's fitness that includes the ability of populations to survive or that individual to survive, find a mate, produce offspring, and then leave the genes in the next generation.